영화부 선생님들 함께 섬길 수 있어 너무 행복해요 선생님들 사랑합니다 교육국에 섬겨주시는 모든 선생님들 사랑하고 축복합니다 Happy Teachers Appreciation Day 젊은 부장님 선생님들 언제나 헌신과 그리고 또 사랑으로 섬겨주셔서 감사합니다 I miss you guys I love you Hi, Gem2 teachers. Thank you so much for being our Gem2 teachers. And I, I think this is great privilege to serve God and working for God together as a team. God bless you. Love you all. 우리 사랑부 아이들에게 삶과 사랑으로 예수님 전해 주셔서 진짜 감사합니다. 사랑해요, 선생님들. I love you. Hi, way teachers. Even. Needing to say, man, I really do miss you. Not being with each other for so long, it's been really hard. But um, I'm praying for you guys, and yeah, I love you guys very much. Miss you guys. Hi, we love you and appreciate you, and we thank you so much. KYM 선생님들 화이팅! 선생님들의 헌신에 감사를 드립니다. 사랑하고 축복합니다. Hanani, 하나님의 은혜가 우리 가운데 가득하길 기도합니다 하나님의 사랑이 당신의 삶 가운데 가득하길 축복합니다 하나님의 은혜가 우리 가운데 Good morning, church. Gem2 and teachers, thank you so much for joining our online service. And today's the Sunday, the Lord's Day. We're going to worship God. Before we start the service, I just want to say thank you, teachers. That without the teachers, the Gem2 is nothing. The teachers, everyone. We have so many teachers, so I just, I don't want to miss any teachers. That we have Ginny teacher, Jay teacher, Christine teacher. Mina teachers, Steve 부장님, Jenny 부장님, Sam 부장님, JJ teachers, Sandy teacher, Kenneth teacher, and Derek teacher, Shinyoung teacher. Thank you so much for your serving. For me, this is a great, great privilege to serve God with you guys. Teachers, without your service, the gem to is nothing. Thank you so much for um, committing your life to God and serving gem to as a team. Yeah, I love it. I love you guys. I'm praying for you guys. And Gem2, thank you so much for sending all the pictures and video clips to uh, your appreciation for the teachers. Then we're going to watch that. We're going to start the service. All right, Gem2 and teachers, thank you. Love you. Check it. 
Hello, Mr. Handsome and Miss Real Beautiful. I'm feeling good, hope the feelings are mutual. If not, well, I got the remedy to cure. Don't get it twisted, my intentions are pure. Mr. David and Jesse Teacher, thank you for teaching us the Bible. Stay healthy, we love you. Thank you, Nina. 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 God bless I will shine and spread my love around Thank you teachers and pastors God bless you and give my love my love to you Now I'm not trying to say that your troubles go away I'm just trying to tell you that you're looking nice today Even with your sweatpants on Your big bright smile makes my worries go gone by I think we all forget how far our words go Mean things to say can make a nice day ice cold We all know the small things in life Baby teacher, I hope you're safe in court speed And I miss you and I want to see you again Bye! You're generally kinder So once you've done said it, you can't hit rewind And just remember words are the gates to the mind and the soul so Love is what fills the holes In the gaps of the hearts that will break the old mode If you're resonating with me, that love matters the most For me to you and I do propose this toast So we say Even when the sun goes down I will shine and spread my love around And even when the moon goes out I will shine and give my love, my love to you ba da 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 Good morning everyone, happy Sunday. I hope you are all ready to praise and worship with me this morning. And so from wherever you are, I would like for you to please join me and stand up. And join me for praise and worship here today. Amen. You, 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 you can trust God. You can take him at his word and give him your heart. You, 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 you can trust God. It doesn't matter. to be
be the fastest, strongest. You don't have to hold your breath the longest. You don't have to be a star. It doesn't matter who you are. Raise your hands and repeat after me. You can trust God. you to please prepare your hearts and your bodies for our worship song.
Bye. Good morning, Gem2. I hope all of you guys had a blessed week this week and continue to follow in Jesus' footsteps by reading the Bible, praying, and finding ways to honor God. So, a couple of announcements. Um, we want to continue to see you guys send in the video pictures of you having service, students, Bible bookmark, um, all of the things that you do at home to honor God, um, especially service. Uh, take a picture, have your parents take a picture of it and set, upload it to our, our uh, group chat room to encourage each other that we're all doing this together. We're uh, still uh, putting a lot of focus on service, Sunday service and all the services actually. Second, um, so month of May in our church, we have month of May dedicated as a uh, month for family. So we have family month for the month of May. Um, for whatever reason, we are still in this uh, COVID-19 situation and we're all still at home. Um, but uh, God is giving us opportunity to spend a lot more time at home. I know everybody's in a very different situation because I, I'm getting this feeling a lot of the parents might be a little bit uh, overwhelmed and stressed, uh, but the kids um, might be going through something a little different. Uh, a lot of um, break times, a lot of uh, things that uh, makes you, forces you to make better decisions. Of course, you know, we don't always make good decision, decisions, but uh, is this situation is forcing us to, to make good decisions, right? Um, so for this week and next week, uh, we are going to have this really fun bingo game that's bringing all of our family together to participate. And as a family, we are going to do something to honor God. And the detail of the competition, well, maybe not a competition, but um, yes, it's a competition. Uh, because somebody's gonna have uh, to be a winner, a uh, bingo winner, and we'll get a prize. We, uh, the details will be shared with you uh, from Pastor David. Uh, enjoy your Sunday service. Bye. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful day. Lord, we are worshiping you, praising you at home. We are not able to gather together with teachers and families, with friends and loved ones at church, but we are still worshiping you and praising you, and we still love you, Lord. Heavenly Father, we had gathered a small offering. May this be used for those people that are in need. Heavenly Father, there's a lot of people who are affected by the coronavirus. We pray that you will heal the sick, that you will be there for those people that are in need. And also, those people who are afraid, we pray that you will bring them to God's Word and have them experience your love. Heavenly Father, we pray that you'll keep us safe and you'll give us strength and hope until we meet again. Thank you, Jesus. And in your name we pray, amen. The helicopter's hovering in slowly and approaching the crane from the south. All right now he's coming in on his second pass. This may be the pass where they attempt to make contact with the stranded crane operator. Rescues are a spectacle. There's almost nothing that captures our attention more than disaster striking and finding out that someone incredibly has survived and needs help. Got him. He's got him. Has lifted the fireman and the victim off the crane at this time, so he's out of danger. I've never seen a rescue like that. And 19 years of flying, we owe a great deal of credit to those guys down there that were able to pull that rescue off. It can seem voyeuristic, 
sitting on our couches or in our offices and watching events that are far away that we are removed from. But in a way, these are the most essential stories, stories of great peril, of hope, and of bravery. A woman is rescued after being trapped 17 days. Maybe they touch on something that's universal, a hope that when we're lost, someone will look for us, that strangers would risk their lives to save us. And maybe it's a reminder of just how fragile we are. After being buried for seven and a half days, a seven-year-old kid named Kiki was dug out alive and well. It's what relief looks like. The relief of being reunited, of being grateful, of being alive. It's what the best parts of humanity look like. As we watch that the rescue video goes, why do we love to watch the rescue video? Why? Because people trapped or isolated or bad situation and people came and rescued them and saved them, set them free. It's amazing to see them, right? That's why the Bible, this is the Bible. The Bible, most of the miracle stories and true stories and rescue stories in the Bible. It involves amazing grace and love, how God loves us. This book is full of the true story, the rescuing people, right? So today we're gonna to talk about the Peter. So how Jesus gives us freedom through Peter. The, the first week, the true story we talked about, Saul, the Paul, how did he change by God's grace? God can change people's life. Today, the Bible story that how Jesus rescued Peter. This is the true story. If you have the Bible, if you don't have the Bible, please go grab your Bible and turn to Book of Acts chapter twelve. The Book of chapter, oh, Book of Acts chapter twelve, verses one to twenty-five. It's pretty long, but we're gonna go by the verse by verse. Okay, let's jump into the Bible. Hello again, explorers. We've been having so much fun talking about some true stories from the Bible. Are you ready for another adventure today? Let's pretend we're out in the ocean, exploring the seas and searching for new land. Can you pretend to sit in a boat with me? The waves are big today. Oh no, the boat is being tossed in the waves and... Wait, there's a big shark coming our way! Look out! We need to be rescued! Oh wait, here's another big boat that can rescue us! Don't you all love stories of being rescued? We're going to hear a true story from the Bible today about a man named Peter who was rescued. Remember Peter from last week? We heard about Peter going to Cornelius' house. Peter traveled around telling everyone about Jesus, but not everyone was happy about that. King Herod wanted to stop Peter from telling people about Jesus, so he had him arrested and thrown into prison. His friends were upset when they heard Peter was in prison. They came together and prayed for Peter. The night before King Herod was going to bring Peter to trial, Peter was asleep in the jail cell between two large guards. Peter had chains on his hands and feet, so he couldn't get out. Then something amazing happened. An angel appeared in the jail cell and woke up Peter. The angel told him to get up and follow him. Peter was astonished. The chains fell off his wrists and feet. He got up, got his shoes on, and followed the angel right out of the jail cell past the sleeping guards. They walked through the prison and when they got to the gate, the doors opened right up for them. When they were outside in the street, the angel left. Peter was free. He walked all the way to the house where all his friends were praying for him. He knocked on the door and said, Hey guys, let me in. It's me, Peter. His friends recognized his voice and couldn't believe Peter was there. They let him in and he told them about how the angel from God set him free. We may not be in prison, but there are things in our lives we need God to break us free from. We have things in our lives like problems, fears, and sin. Sin is anything we do that God doesn't want us to do. God sent Jesus to rescue us and give us freedom from sin. We can thank God because he gives us freedom. Look at verse 1. It said, It was about this time that King Herod 
arrested some who belonged to the church, intending to persecute them. You know, persecute them means the King Herod, he was a king in Rome. He doesn't like all the Christians, those who follow Jesus Christ, all the disciples. So he tried to kill all the Christians Jesus followed. Followers. Look at verse 2. What did he do? The King Herod, he was so bad, right? Then in verse 2, he said, he not only persecuting people, they ha he hate all the Christians, Jesus' followers. Finally, what he, what he did is, in, in verse 2, he had James, the brother of John, put to death with the sword. Oh my goodness. He was the king. Then everyone at that time in Rome and Jerusalem, all the Israelites, people were afraid to go out. If they were caught by the soldiers in Rome, they would die just like the James, right? But the Peter and all the disciples were not afraid and scared to die. That Jesus is the life that we need to share the gospel. That's why these things happen. Look at this verse 3. When he saw that this met with approval among the Jews, he proceeded to seize Peter also, which means the Herod arrested Peter. He tried to kill Peter. So Peter is in the prison. He was kind of trapped. He was isolated. He couldn't do anything, right? Now the King Herod, he's crazy. So he wanted to kill everyone, all the disciples. Okay, look at verse 5. So Peter was kept in prison, but the church was earnestly praying to God for him. Isn't this amazing? Isn't this like our situation that we are at home all the time because of the quarantine, coronavirus, we have to stay at home longer than we think. It's easy to complain. I can't do anything. I'm, too, I'm so scared to get virus, coronavirus. What if I die? Some of you are afraid to go out. Just like this. When Peter was in the prison, church members were scared and afraid. No. There's one thing they can do. They just pray to God earnestly and passionate. God, please. Lord, please set him free. They prayed honestly. Day by day. Day and night. This is the way. This true story happens. All the miracles happen based on our prayers. You know what? God can do anything, whatever He wants to do. Nothing is impossible. You know, He can do without our help. But why do, we, why do we have to pray? Because God wants us to involve His ministry. God wants us to see His miracle through our faith, by our prayer. So as we stay at home, why don't we pray together? God, please let this coronavirus disappear, that everyone get together, pray together. But... In this situation, do not be so discouraged, you know, discouraged, you know, frustrated. Yes, we do understand each other, but we need to learn how to worship God at our home, home service through online, reading the Bible, pray. You know, as I already mentioned, some mission field that you can worship God publicly. They were hiding the secret place. They worship God without any light. You know, but we have light. We can worship God through our internet. We have to thank God for that. But we have to practice. How do you worship God with our own heart? We can go to church, church building, but in my place, and my own, the online service, not being lazy, you know, you need to get set up and dressed up and worship God true heart. That's the one way we need to worship God and practice God. So the church members, they pray for Peter. Right? And then what happened? Look at verse 7. Suddenly the angel of the Lord appeared and the light shined into the cell. And he stuck Peter on the side and he woke me up. Quick, get up, he said. And the chains fell off Peter's wrist. Amen. The miracle happens by God's grace. Isn't this amazing? You know, as you... I've never been to prison, but I visited it to share the gospel once, you know, but the, if you go to prison, there was a big, you know, doors, it's, you know, knock it, every place. No one can open that place. The security is really strong. But the Peter, the shackles, the chains, it fell off. This is an amazing true story. This is the miracle, how these things happen. 
the church members prayed. And by God's grace, these things happened. That's why Peter went back to the place all the disciples and church members were there. So he knocked the door. Okay, I'm here in verse 13 and 14. Peter knocked at the outer entrance and a servant named Rhoda came to answer the door. When she recognized Peter's voice, she was so overjoyed, she ran back without opening and exclaiming, Peter is at the door. Oh my goodness, she was so excited that she just heard about the Peter's voice and then she didn't open the door <laughs> and she went back to the room and, okay, this I pray your friend, Peter is outside, right? Okay, let's look at verse 16 and 17. But Peter kept on knocking. And when they opened the door and saw him, they were astonished. And Peter mentioned with his hands for them to be quiet and describe how the Lord had brought him out of prison. Tell James and the other brothers and sisters about this, he said. And then he left for another place. Peter was so excited. You know, that was so bad. If I were Peter, I was, you know, I, I would feel like, you know, oh, Lord, what are you doing? What am I doing here? I tried to share the gospel goodness for you, but I'm in prison because of that. It doesn't make sense. I would complain, but he was at the prison. The church members prayed together. God loves us that he rescued him saved him from the prison. And then he shared all this story, the true story, the miracles to the older people. Amen. So what can I do? Because Jesus gives us freedom. If you are forgiven, we are free from sin. That's amazing. That's why today, you know, Teacher's Day, we have all the teachers, Kenneth teacher, Daddy teacher, Shinyoung teacher, JJ teacher, Mina teacher, Steve teacher, Jenny teacher, Sam teacher, Kristen teacher, Jenny Bujangim, everyone. They serve God in this church and gem too. They commit to God. Why? They feel like, yes, I am free from sin. I am saved. God's miraculous love. That's why the teachers are here to help you guys. I'm here to share this good news for you guys. Why? I am free from sin. Jesus gives us freedom, free from sin. We are saved. If we are saved, we have to share the gospel. Then how? We're in stuck. Difficult situation. Let's pray for the people, those who are not believing Jesus. Let's experience this true story in the Bible, in our lives. Amen? Gem 2. Let's pray to God. It's easy to complain at home, easy to lazy. But we have to know God more and deeper. Let's read the Bible. This true miracle story is in the Bible. Amen? Amen, amen. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for your amazing love that you sent Jesus Christ to save us. You set us free from sin, that we are saved, have eternal life. Father, God, help us to remember that you can do anything and everything. Nothing is impossible, but we want to involve your ministry, your miracle things that we want to see experience in our lives. Father, help us to pray together. Help us to pray for the people, those who are having hard time because of the coronavirus. Father God, help us protect us and lead us and guide us. Father, thank you so much for giving us great opportunity to worship you through online. That we pray each other, we love each other. Father, we love you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Mr. Lee, as you know, we are all sinners. Then what is the biggest thing God can do to set us free from sin and its consequence? Christy. Uh, yeah. The biggest thing that God can do from, to free us from sin and consequence is that he has given us his son, Jesus Christ, who died for our sins. 
um, just like John 3.16 said. Um, but he did his part. Now, you have to do your part, and most of the kids in Gem 2, and that is you must believe and accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Okay? Okay, that's a perfect answer. I believe in Jesus. Okay, every week we have memory verse and also in our um, message curriculum we have memory verse for a month. As you know, uh, Eugene's father has been making the song for our memory verse. It was really helpful to remember all the Bible verses. So today, you know, we have a special song he made. So let's listen and sing along and practice. Let's memorize this week's memory verse. Thank you, Kim Yong-jip-san. Please welcome Eugene's father. Thank you. Okay. 